Let's start at the ballpark. Reds welcome the Phillies after dropping two of three to the Giants team with the best record in baseball. The Phillies come in with one of the worst. Losers of six straight. Well, it wasn't pretty down at the old ballpark. The Reds lost the last two to San Francisco. Philadelphia came in losers of six straight. They're no longer losers. They drilled the Reds. The Reds have lost their third straight. Johnny Cueto just didn't have it tonight. He only goes five innings, gives up four runs, and the Reds put a goose egg on the board. Three straight losses. They fall to the Phils, 8 0. And he told anyone who would listen, He's not happy about pitching another rehab assignment Monday. Latos only threw 67 pitches in five innings with Lehigh Valley this week. So Brian Price said they want one more outing to throw at least 80 pitches with no problems. Latos called the assignment bogus, that he's ready now. He's just a puppet on a string. Price said he knows Latos isn't happy, but it's not Matt's call. Reds making eight more draft picks today. Five pitchers, including Miami University's Seth Barner in round 10. Just two high schoolers in the eighth. One junior college player, no listed outfielders. The Reds will complete the 40-round draft this weekend. Cyclones in game number four of the Kelly Cup Finals against Alaska. Aces have a 2-1 series lead over the Clones. So, to avoid a return trip to the Great White North, Cyclones must win the next three at home. Olympic bronze medalist Nick Gepper dropping the first puck tonight. Clones get on the board first. Behind the net, Zach Budish feeds Josh Shala. He lights the lamp one to nothing in the first. Aces outshot the Clones 32-16. Medora on his game, stopping all but one again in the second. Even had an assist. He sent it ahead to Jonathan Hazen, makes it 2 nothing. Add a power play goal in the third. They win it 3-1. Tie the series at two games apiece. Game five is tomorrow night. In nine years, the Bearcats Women's Football Clinic has raised more than $125,000 for the UC Breast Cancer Research Center. Great cause and a fun night for the ladies' night out. Football 101. Mike Burke, well, he was allowed in, though, and, and he has more from the UC campus. More than 200 strong were ready for this. It's UC's ninth annual Football 101 Clinic, hosted by the Bearcats coaching staff. This is our first year. Our first year. But we're going to come back. We decided we're coming back. They always come back for this. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely, yes. And, and maybe next year you'll get the second eye black. <laughs> yes. But this clinic is not unique to UC. Tommy Tuberville did them in his previous stops at Auburn and Texas Tech. He does them for many reasons, none more important than this. My wife's mother died at age 41 of, of breast cancer, and, and she's really in, enthused about having this to raise money for research. And, and all, all these girls come out here to learn football, but for a great cause. And a great time at every drill station, from kicking and taking the handoff to learning proper blocking techniques while gaining respect for the guys in the trenches. They're probably the unsung heroes, so you get to see what they're, they're in for. Catch defensive lineman Brandon Mitchell had no idea what he was in for. Yeah, she did give me pretty good. She hurt me a little bit more than she know it, but I'm big guy, I get, I get away from it. But Coach T won't be able to escape this new group of second guessers his clinics are creating. Well, I got enough of that anyway, but uh, you know, my wife didn't know anything about football until we got married. After sitting in the stands with all the fans for a year, she became an expert. Thanks to Football 101, she now has company. In Clifton, Mike Burke, Local 12 Sports. Will Grimmer finished his last two finals at Marymount High School this morning, said he did really well. He's now officially a senior. Oh, yeah, he's also officially in the U.S. Open Golf Tournament next week at Pinehurst. 17 years old, he's 127 pounds. I can take him. I got next. I would be freaking out. Tell me you're freaking out just a little bit. Not at all. Come I mean, on, you gotta be freaking out. I'm excited. You're 17 and you're going to the U.S. Open. I'm excited though. I mean, this is uh, it's a dream come true. Uh, you know, I've worked uh, so hard for this, and uh, you know, I think honestly, just the, the key for me is just having the belief system. What's the key to making it happen at Pinehurst? Making putts. Uh, I mean, first, I think the number, I mean, putting, half the, half of putting is just mental and it's just belief. And, uh, you know, honestly, I wouldn't say there was, uh, there was really anything I changed my approach to putting. I just was patient. The sooner or later, they're going to start falling. Do you want to try and take me down? Three holes. Three holes, aggregate score. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you pick. Hmm. <laughs> just on the low side. I try to be more generous now with my dad. You try to be what? More generous now with my dad. 
Got to get something makeable here. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Thought I had that one. Just on the low side, same thing. Let's go down to number one. We'll go for a long one. Needs to go. Little work left. One putt for the win. Putt for the win. This is my U.S. Open. <laughs> there it is. Champion. <laughs> Best of luck, man. Thank you so much. Knock him dead. Four rounds, right? Yeah. Four rounds. Take him down. <laughs> Give me a little. Thank you.